He ate that thing so light. I never saw him blow up. Never saw anything. He just had it. That was crazy. First commitment on the rat this morning. Not too impressed by that, but um, it seems super slow. I don't know if they're gonna come up for this. I didn't even see him wake near it. I never saw him blow up on it. I never saw anything. He just had it. We just gotta keep on casting. That'd get your heart pumping right there. That'd get your heart pumping. Let's get back in there. Oh, not this morning. I had a bite, but nothing. Nothing more than that. <laughs> it's a little cold this morning. Yeah. What else, a rat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a. Uh, it's not real, no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I had one bite over there. But that's about it. <laughs> no. No. That was actually a good bite. I was waiting for that cast right there. I had a feeling there was one was sitting there. Gosh dang it. Oh, that's painful. So the old rat really didn't get the job done this morning. Fishing's really tough. It doesn't help that I don't have my frog rod, which that's a bigger problem. The rod that I'm using is of my braided combo for top water, but it's usually for like walking baits or like poppers or anything with treble hooks. So that mixture with a frog, or a rat in this case, isn't the best, you know, I can't really penetrate that hook good, but um, we're gonna be going to some other spots today, see if we can catch some big ones. So let me show you guys the three combos that I brought out today. We have like a medium diver right here, dives from five to eight foot, this is a little natural color, this is by Six Cents, and it is a beautiful little crankbait. I don't know how this is gonna work today just because of the stuff on the bottom, so I brought some backup rods, but we'll talk about those as well. And then I got an old big jig. You guys know I have to have a big jig, and that's, <laughs> I mean, that's just a must when you're hunting for them big bass, man. Big bass energy, baby. And then right here, we have a swank crank, okay? This is by Six Cents as well. Let me tell you, this dive's two to four foot. If this is what I think it is, now listen to this. Hear that? If this is actually what I think it is, this will be a bank fishing slayer. I mean, a slayer. I don't know if it is what I think it is, but we're gonna give it a shot and we're gonna actually start off with it. Let's actually see how this, I've never used it before. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay. There was no need for that other crankbait I tied on. Dude, dude, this is game over. This is big bass slayer, I promise you. Dude, <laughs> we gonna hook it, dude. <laughs> Guys, it, yeah, it's on today with this thing. I could totally see a big bass gobbling this thing up. Whew, my heart about stopped for a second there. Caught me an old stick pounder. Let's get to work. Got him. No way. On the swank that quick. Gosh. Dude. I knew it. He's not big. He ain't bad. It's two pounder. Look how fat that thing is. Dude, we just got out of here. I just had a feeling, man. I said, if this thing is what I think it is, then it's going to happen. <laughs> and it's exactly what I think it is. That is like the bank fishing machine right there. I already know. It's my first time throwing it. You guys are gonna see that thing a lot because I've, I just haven't seen anything on the market like that. 
Look at that. Look how fat he is. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Look at him wiggling, doing a little dance. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Big bass energy dance, baby. All right, that's a beautiful little fish. He's about a pound and a half. He ain't quite two pounds, but look at his fat belly. Let's get him back. That's awesome to get the monkey off her back. Beautiful, man. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Start her off just like that. Straight up fatties. I can't believe it, man. I didn't even throw eight casts of this thing. It's already munched. It's exactly what I thought. When I saw this, I was like, man, I've had it for a while too. And this is exact, oh gosh. Especially trying new baits. Gotta love that. I had to put the chatter donkey down for a second. I was throwing it way too much, man. <laughs> That's all I was throwing. So I was like, I wanna try something new today. And this is perfect. Look at that big thing, gosh. All right, big jig, it's time to go through. So you guys just saw what I did. I sat there, threw the crankbait for a bit, and now I'm gonna go back with a slower bait, yet again with a big profile. This is, this is for a big bass, and we're gonna cover the water that we did with the crankbait. Maybe a fish is a little bit more lethargic, he wants something slower, so that's exactly what we're about to do. that big is two pounds though gosh dude that bite is awesome man i knew this thing was gonna get it i threw so many casts you, you gotta piss them off you gotta get them to react and you catch a beautiful bass like that his eyes are huge oh yeah on the swank man it's just getting it done today couldn't really get him to commit to the jig gotta show him a reaction bait there he goes god that's awesome right there i thought he was a lot bigger fish number two on the old swing, this is exactly what I thought it was, man. God, can't believe it. Okay, mm, I love that right there. Okay, so uh, show you guys what I'm fishing. Opens up over here into like the main water, and this is like a little canal that goes back into a pocket. And the way that this canal sits, let me show you by my hands, is on each side of the bank. We're standing right here. This is the other side of the bank, which is right there. It layers off and it creates a bowl in the bottom. So it's almost like a little ditch. And that's exactly what I was doing with this crankbait is, you know, tossing it down there to see if I can get any of those fish to trigger off. And uh, today with how they're acting, I can just tell that they, they need a reaction to commit. I mean, both those fish that we caught are the same way. They need a reaction. The jig fish, he never ate it because, you know, it wasn't super aggressive. What we're trying to do is piss those fish off. And the one good thing about this bait that we're using is listen. Listen to that hard knock, man. It's perfect. And those fish are tearing it up, man. So, as you guys know, last time I was right here, I hooked a five pounder. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Digging on the red rail trap. Oh my gosh. Big, big, he's barely hooked. Big, big. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Look how barely he's hooked. Look at, look at how he is barely hooked. Oh my gosh, we gotta get a weight on this guy. That's a five pounder. Look at that. Look how fat. Whew. All right, zeroed out. Are you kidding me? My weight skills, man. Five pounds, one ounce. We're gonna swim back down to the depth. Into the depths, man. So we're gonna try the old swank and see if there's another big in off this boat ramp. <laughs> Come on, man, I want a big in. We caught two decent ones, but I want like a big in, man. At least four pounds, I mean at least. Craving for a big in, and this bait is fairly big, man. Look at it compared to my hand. It's like a big, big profile that's why i really like it and i think this is going to be something i'm going to start fishing with a lot Ooh, 
Come on. Let's get it, boy. Yep. Oh, he's another. Oh, gosh. Gosh, that was not bad. It's about two pounds. <laughs> Let's go off that tree. Oh, man. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, this thing is killing him. That is an easy two pounder. The freaking swank. I think it's going to be the new chatter donk. I'm not going to lie. We haven't caught any biggins on it yet, but I just know that they'll eat that. Look at that right there. Let's get a weight on him. He's not too. You tricked me, you little turd. I'd say he's a pound and a half to... I'm going to say... All right, this is what I'm going to say. One pound... All right, I'm going to guess one pound, ten ounces. Oh, my gosh. He's almost two pounds. One pound, 14 ounces. Two ounces away from two pounds. I was, I was pretty accurate there. I thought he was a lot smaller. He's fat, though. See his little belly? These are, like, healthy fish out here, man. No giants, but good quality fish, and we just don't complain about that on kicking their bass. Look at that. Oh, that's awesome. The swank is killing it, man. That's how to feel him. I tied that sucker on, never thrown it before, and now my confidence is going so... <laughs> my Once I get my confidence up in this bait, that's when I feel like we're going to start catching the big ones. Once I get my big bass energy up, man, hashtag big bass energy all over the internet, baby. We're creating a movement. I caught him right there. See how I threw right past that tree? There's a little bit of shade. And I'm predicting that he was right under that tree right there. And uh, he saw this going by, and he had to react to it. He was either going to eat it or he wasn't, and he decided to come out and swipe at it. He didn't eat it as good as the other ones ate it. Look at that. <gasps> dude, 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 dude. A big fish just ate something under there. Dude. I mean, something destroyed topwater. My bait was messed up. I was just toying around, and then far back under that tree, something just nailed something oh my gosh look at this oh, look at this oh. oh my gosh I caught a worm dude do I got a fish what the heck do I have All right, where's the other piece of the line? I got us an old Texas rig. Look at that. Basic little old Texas rig. Ew, it's all nasty. All right, what we're going to do, I'm going to throw this away. I might keep that hook. It's not the best hook, but we're going to set this for right now. We're going to set that right here. Never leave trash out, guys, but I'm going to come back when I walk back through and pick that up. It's one thing I try to do when fishing is pick up after myself but not only pick up after myself but pick up after other people oh, guys guys i cannot believe i just did that that was so big that fish choked it and it broke my line he choked it all the way in the back of his throat dude that was a freaking trophy i hope the gopro saw it Oh my god, that was a freaking trophy. And he ate the swank. He broke me right off. Oh my god, please have another one in the back of my truck, Noah. Please have it. Alright, we're leaving our stuff right here. We're going to go back to the truck. We're going to throw this away as well.